Hi uh, YouTube, this is Patrick. Uh, this is my uh, review for last night's Dexter episode, the second episode of the sixth season. Uh, it was titled Once Upon a Time. Uh, I thought it was pretty solid. It um, you know, had a decent uh, theme going on about rituals, about Dexter's ritual, about his uh, ritual he has with his son every night, and about the um, ritual that's going on with uh, Edward James Olmos and Colin Hanks' characters. Um, so all those, you know, parallels were there. Um, so, you know, it was okay. Maybe a little forced, and that's one of the complaints I've actually heard a little bit already, is that the religious stuff, um, is getting forced down our throat a little bit too much, but, um, I really don't mind it. Like I said in the last week's thing, I think religion and Dexter is a fun, uh, a fun mix, so, uh, it's a fascinating subject, and I don't mind that we're gonna spend, uh, you know, 12 hours on it. And by the way, we're going to. They're not going to, like, stop halfway through here and just, you know, move on to something else. It's going to be religion all the time this season. Um, so if you're not enjoying that, you're probably not going to like this season because that's clearly, clearly what they're going to be doing. Um, a nice addition was Most Deaf as uh, Brother Sam, who we first... We got, like, two answers last night. First, we thought he was going to be a bad guy... Then he turned out to be, well, not a straight-up, like, serial killer that Dexter's gonna have to kill yet. Uh, I say yet because, you know, we never know. Um, people on this show don't last, uh, when they become an ally of Dexter. Uh, and he is looking like he's gonna be an ally. So, um, it'll be interesting, really interesting to see where that goes, and he's kinda like the middle... Looks like he's like the middle ground between, like, um... Dexter and then the, the main villains of the season right now uh, we're trying to use faith and religion for a good thing unlike um, almost in Hanks but we'll see uh, I, th I thought he was really good he's always really good but um, he had like a real quiet menace about him so um, kind of like Dexter uh, but yeah we'll see where that goes uh, I was kind of disappointed in the Deb Quinn storyline um, you know he proposes to her, and I thought they were going to drag that out a little bit more. I wouldn't have minded them dragging that out a little bit. Not the waiting to propose, but just, you know, their whole relationship. They kind of really jumped out of that pretty quickly. Um, it was, you know, it was something that would have been, I think, interesting to see. But, um, maybe, I don't know, maybe everyone thinks they make a horrible, like, you know, couple, and they're not fun at all to watch. I thought it was kind of fun. But now we're just gonna get like grumpy Quinn back, and that's not that's you know that's annoying. Uh, Cause I, I mean he can be annoying that way. Um, I like Deb getting the job. I don't like her getting the job, you know, because of what happened to Batista. That sucks. But I liked her getting the job. She you know she's a good detective. Um, her speeches, you know, be filled with all the foul mouth and everything, uh, the bad language and everything like that. Uh, let's see. Oh, by the way, Michael C. Hall and Jennifer Carpenter they got divorced. They were married in real life. They got divorced. Um, it hasn't shown yet in any of their scenes together any kind of tension or anything like that. So uh, I heard there was like a rumor that they were having problems filming together. If they are, they're good actors because they're not. Um, it's not showing at all. Uh, let's see what else happened last night. Uh, oh well. Yeah. So Deb got the lieutenant job. Batista didn't. Uh, you gotta like Batista. You know, just like graciously stepping aside. And you gotta hate Laguerta. Again, it's like this character was like moving up the first couple of seasons, getting to like her a little bit more, a little bit more. Then last season, she did nothing except make Batista boring, which is difficult to do. I mean, every time Batista came on the screen last year, he was boring in season five because he was with LaGuerta. Um, yeah, and now she's just a complete bitch again, for, and she like hates on Deb and everything like that. I just, I don't know. Um, I, I, I really don't like what they did with her. It's just kind of... Like, I just don't like her. You know, just complete... And you're clearly we're not supposed to really like like her right now. So unless they're going to redeem her sometime... I guess they're going to have to redeem her sometime this season. Uh, or finally kill her off or something. Because otherwise, you know... I mean, Dexter can't kill her. It's not like she's going to be that kind of villain. But it's just annoying. Really annoying. Um, I like Masuka... Uh, look like he's gonna get, like, a, a love interest here. Um, or at least she didn't mind him, you know, looking at her ass. Uh, I didn't mind that either. That was very nice. Um, 
And uh, that whole scene was funny with uh, Batista showing up and everything like that. Um, and then... Uh, what was it? What else? Uh, the episode kind of showed us Colin Hanks has another life that's going to go down the shitter really soon. Um... Because we got Edward James, Edward James almost giving himself the, uh, well, not quite the scourging treatment, but he's burning himself instead. Um, and Hanks is, I guess, completely on board with almost now that he wasn't before, which is too bad. I wonder how uh, if Hanks is gonna kind of come around some at some point this season or or what. Um, but not right away. They're gonna do some pretty awful shit first before they get around to that. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to where that's going. Um, oh, one of the complaints, I, I made a, a little complaint last week about how the writing can be a little lazy sometimes, but I also said that it's not why I watch the show. I watch a show from Michael C. Hall, you know, you know, and everything that Dexter does, um, I watch the show for the characters that I like, you know, I don't care if Miami Metro really is, like, awful, they're not the real Miami Metro, okay, if the real Miami Metro doesn't investigate, you know, a missing person at a high school reunion or something like that, then that's bad. But this is a TV show. It's okay. Um, some people were complaining online about this episode uh, ending where we go from Deb being um, introduced as lieutenant to Dexter already, you know, killing the guy. We don't have to watch Dexter set up everything. We know how... We know it's six seasons. We know his routine by now. We don't have to see it. We don't have to see him dunt the bodies. We know he does it. Um, it's okay. Uh, just, but I, a lot of people just here, like, really complaining about it. Uh, also people complaining that the show lost its gore, uh, gore factor, that we, um, didn't see the guy's throat slit. You know, we did see a pound of intestines, or pound, multiple pounds of intestines in a, you know, scale last week. I guess that wasn't gory enough. And it looks like next week's gonna be pretty gory anyway, so I'm sure those, you know, people will be getting their worth. Uh, I think that's it for this episode. I liked it. Um, it's moving season six along. I'm looking forward to where it's going. Um, more than last season, at least. Um, we'll have to wait, obviously, a, a while before we can start placing it anywhere in the other seasons to see where we're gonna, you know, where we're gonna be putting it. Um, but otherwise, I'm looking forward to next week. Um, let me know what you thought. And, uh, alright, I'll see you guys later in the week with another Blu-ray column. Until then, adios.